Okay, so your setup's pretty good as far as posture, and I'm already worked on your balance, and I'm trying to get your chin to stay out more regularly. So you can see with me to the right. Yeah, that's that's right. easier to do if you're on the balls of your feet. You can actually prop up your head and still view the ball. If you're on your heels with your body weight, you can't do that. So that's a good indication that you're balanced as well. Okay. The other thing, and the main thing was getting your right hand to stay at a little lighter pressure in the golf club and more under the golf club mm -hmm. and not so far on top, right? That will not only relax the elbow here, as you see you're doing here, but it squares the shoulders up to the target, which they were open before because of that turned over bottom hand. So just maybe the final thing is to allow your arms to hang down more relaxed. See how the club's pointing at your upper body? Just mm -hmm. so you can see how mine's pointing on my belt line? Yes. Just lower your hands a little bit. Down yeah, they'll, they'll feel more relaxed and supple, and you, you want to feel as comfortable as you can over that ball prior to swinging, right? So a couple of keys in your prep. You can watch the club going away from the ball now. But as the club goes away, you can see how the club face does not have to fan open nearly as early during the takeaway. It's still square to the target as right. we keep going back, keep going back. It's actually better. Before, your club head was pointing almost toward the sky. Now it's a little more, you know, angled with your spine, which is square, actually, right, or tilted forward, the yeah, club head. Thing, right? It's a good thing, exactly. Okay. You can see with me here, club face. Yeah. It's not pointing that way or open. So we're able to turn the top. Make a good shoulder turn, and then it's just getting comfortable with your tempo and your pace, which will come with practice. Now the club drops down. You can square it up without having to flick your wrists and do it manually. And you're also going to be able to turn through and follow through a little more to a completed position like I am here by having better balance and better alignment in the future. So a couple things to work on, but pretty good. Interesting.